Okay. Great. Welcome, everybody. We have a very small meeting, but I think it's still going to be a good one today. I'm your Toastmaster, Chris Marshall. Nothing at the end, at least not yet. Not that I hope. So, I want to talk a little bit about today's theme, which is not about light. I'm going to step just this way a little bit. So, today's theme is finding fortitude. I recently had thought of this theme right after the passing of Muhammad Ali. Occasionally we doubt ourselves and we find it tough sometimes to get through, but we have to find the fortitude, the moral fiber, the strength in, in our minds to be able to make it. And I think this theme is unfortunately more relevant than it should be given uh, recent events, but I, I thought it would just be good to kind of discuss like what gets us through, especially here in Toastmasters, because sometimes I come up here and I, I think I cannot do this at all. But I find the strength and the courage to speak to every one of you every day, or not every day, excuse me, every <laughs> week. If you do not want me speaking in front of you every day, trust me, I'll ramble on. So I thought that would be a nice little uh, pick up to uh, the middle of our week here. Uh, before we move forward, um, moving to announcing our functionaries. I do know we want to take a couple minutes to reveal the Moments of Truth survey results. Uh, Mr. Mosley, you have that for us? I do. Hey! Thanks, Chris. I wanted to take a few minutes and share with everyone the results. And if you wouldn't mind, Alicia, taking one of these and passing it down. The Moments of Truth survey actually is part of the Successful Club series. It's an opportunity for the club to evaluate itself, to understand where its strengths are and where its weaknesses are, and with regard to those weaknesses, where we can shore up our challenges. Tim had asked me a few weeks ago, in a sense, rhetorically, why are we having more members show up to our club meetings routinely? We had a good turnout last week. This is a little bit sparse this week. And the up and down of that means that we have a problem with consistency. So the survey was really to kind of analyze what the challenges were. On the front, you'll see on the, uh, it's the black and white side it are the survey questions that everybody participated in. On the back side, with colors, are the results. We tried to run this survey twice. We took the results the second time. The green means good, the yellow means average, the green, the red means cautionary. And where we had the challenges are in the most in the uh, most critical area was in mentoring. Mentoring is the opportunity for you to have someone help guide and bring you along to where you want to be. And what we found is that we're weak on mentoring as assessed in the survey. Pat, uh, uh, Recently, there was a presentation done on mentoring by Penny, and she talked about some of the ways that we can incorporate different strategies. Also, on this piece of paper are the strategies that are most tested and uh, found most successful with remedying the things for issues regarding mentoring. So we'll take those and implement those with the new executive team as we move along. Does anyone have any questions at all? Okay, so the bottom line is I think it was a great survey. We've got some strengths. We have some areas of opportunity. Those areas of opportunity we will move forward as an executive team to help implement so that everyone feels comfortable about where they're growing and what they need to do. Go ahead, Andrew. I, I thought something that occurred to me that I'm not sure is really maybe covered by any one of these in particular is just kind of a level of buy-in to. Uh, I know everyone has, you know, a certain thing. Everyone has a lot of different things going on in their lives. Right. So everyone kind of has to make choices where they want to be with their time. I know sometimes I have other things going on that, that unfortunately I can't make it. But, um, you know, the more we can get people to kind of buy in, like, for example, since Irene is not here, I can talk about her. She seems like... She's extremely, you know, bought into Toastmasters, so if everyone was like her, I don't think there would be, you know, she's not here today, which is kind right. of rare, but... So that would be actually one of the other elements that could be evaluated in moments of truth. We actually took just one segment, uh, in, or actually several segments, and evaluated those. So I think you've got some great points, 
And that's something the executive team, I think, can move forward with getting more buy-in yeah. and therefore more input from everyone. Yeah. I guess the members are disengaged is probably the one that would come closest to that. But. Yeah, it's probably the closest one to the buy-in. That is, that is. Thank you for your Because yeah, the mentor program, I, I agree with that, but uh, for me, I don't really see that as being a reason not to come. But that's just me, maybe I could be wrong. We will definitely have, take that to the advisement now that you've got a new executive team. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, capitalize on it and make sure that we can move forward on that. Any other questions? I will turn it over to our Toastmaster again. Thank you. Fantastic. It's glad to kind of see the, the results that kind of came from that survey and finally see where we were at with it.